To test a groundbreaking blended wing body configuration, the Pentagon has contracted with aviation startup Yet Zero to build a sizable, full-scale demonstrator aircraft. It might result in the creation of stealth aerial refueling tankers and transport aircraft with significantly higher fuel efficiency. On August 16, Air Force Secretary Frank Kendall said that the Pentagon would allot $235 million through 2027 to allow the California-based Yet Zero to develop a two-scale XBW-1 demonstration that is anticipated to fly by the first quarter of 2027. The test aircraft would also be developed with assistance from the Air Force, NASA, and Northrop Grumman owned Scaled Composites, a partner of Yet Zero. A future design featuring a tailless flywing airframe with folding wing tips that integrates into a triangular fuselage is depicted in early Yet Zero concept art for the Z5. The front of the aircraft features an airliner-style nose-slash-cockpit, and two turbofan engine pods are mounted on the rear fuselage, giving it a Quinjet-like appearance. According to Yet Zero, the Z5's light composite skin and relatively light leap or GTF turbofans make them suitable for use as mid-market aircraft that can carry 230 to 250 passengers for distances of up to 5,750 miles. The blended wing body, BWB, design concept aims to combine the cargo carrying capability of a conventional cargo plane or airliner with the low radar cross section and drag reducing efficiency of a flying wing shape aircraft, like the Air Force's Manda shaped B 2 bombers. Both commercial and military aircraft operators should be interested in the predicted benefits since BWB aircraft should generate significantly less noise and drag. The reduced drag increases range, lowers overall fuel consumption, increases the amount of cargo or fuel that can be carried on a mission, and reduces carbon emissions by as much as 80% if used in conjunction with sustainable aviation fuel. A BWB aircraft with high-efficiency engines that is at least 30% more aerodynamically efficient than a Boeing 767 or a 330 airliner is what the Air Force is reportedly looking for, according to earlier documents. According to a Northrop Grumman representative, JetZero's aircraft may enhance efficiency by roughly 50%, doubling either payload or range. Additionally, according to their claims, the aircraft could have a limited short takeoff and landing, stall capability, and a small physical footprint, making it easier to operate from small air bases. That might work well with the Pentagon's current Agile Combat Employment Plan, which advocates distributing aviation assets to auxiliary bases, or even roadways during conflict, to reduce vulnerability to enemy precision strikes. Such an improvement would result in billions of dollars in annual operational cost savings and significant reductions in carbon footprint, given the enormous number of flying hours that airplanes and refueling tankers accrue each year. The Air Force says that 60% of its yearly jet fuel use is accounted for by large transports. The drive notes that because sound waves would primarily reflect upward off of the aircraft's upper surfaces, the concept stop-mounted engines are effectively shielded from detection by radar and infrared sensors scanning from below. They would also make less noise than other designs. Yet Zero claims the noise would be on the order of 15 decibels, lower 31 times less than other designs. As a result, if Jet Zero's prototype is successful, it may open the door for a new breed of large-haul aircraft that are more nimble and use less fuel. It might also be the first step toward allowing big military planes to fly closer to hostile airspace at lower risk ratings. <laughs>